Welcome to SCB, SCB's third season. Hi, I'm Nine. Diana, Diana, in this episode, you meet teams from all over the Boston area in valid programs that help to develop civic responsibility and community involvement in Boston neighborhoods. Our first segment deals with people from the local community expressing their thoughts on the state of hip hop and the message it conveys in today's society. Check out Press Pass TV's inside coverage of the 2006 Hip Hop Summit at Berkeley College of Music. In the world of hip hop, there are many diverse styles. Press Pass TV recently visited the 2006 Hip Hop Summit in Roxbury, which brought the community together to celebrate the inspirational side of hip hop. The summit included many hip hop fans, local underground artists, and a panel discussion. Yeah, well, you know, I think um, they were definitely very articulate about uh, the need to keep the culture alive and keep it, you know, connected to the people who are making the music locally, and I, that's a big part of, you know, what I'm about. I mean, I, uh, hip hop's always come from the community, and it's always gone back to the community. One of the visiting underground artists, DL, came to the summit late, but for a good reason. He was recording songs for his new album. Definitely wanted to kind of show my face and, you know, be supportive of everything. And, and things like this where, it's, where it has to do with, with real hip-hop and not saturated, watered down, I'm definitely all supportive of it. During the event, several people spoke about how negative hip-hop affects the minds of young people. The Summit panel, which featured professionals in the music field, discussed how hip-hop should be brought back to its roots. Community, poetry, and meaningful beats. I think some of them are very good and they're just about dance and expressing feelings and some of them are very negative and I think they're done to appeal to a crowd that doesn't always care about what um, the political things that they ought to care about. So for me, my music in my youth was more political so some of the music now is too negative to women and I don't like that. So I like positive hip hop. I can even uh, deal with uh, angry hip hop but I don't like put hip hop that promotes violence or that promotes uh, the sexualization of women. Tyler, an aspiring local artist, came to the summit for the Freestyle Showcase. He talked about how modern hip-hop isn't all negative. It just depends on your point of view. Uh, it brings both just because there's kids who get the wrong ideas from the wrong music. But then you can listen to that same music and get different ideas and a positive outlook. So it's doing everything for everybody. But, I mean, it has its negative effects, but so does anything else. So, I mean... I'm just here because this is supposed to be a positive event and that's what I like about hip hop is the positiveness. I think there's some artists out there that, you know, their focus isn't really towards the community, it's just about making money, but other artists are more making a positive effect. Like, I believe in Kanye West makes a com positive effect more in the community rather than, you know, 50 Cent or somebody like that. Later in the day, Press Pass TV popped up on Radar, a successful underground artist and producer. His take on hip hop is that it lacks balance and airplay and exposure. A lot more uh, equal shine to a lot of artists. So I would still include the, the, the 50 Cents, the Young Jeezys, the, the Lil Waynes and the Nellies, but I'd also uh, make a more balanced playlist as far as including the Commons, including the Dead Presidents, including the people under the stairs, you know, groups like that, um, 7Ls and Esoterics and such. So I, I, I create a better sense of, of opportunity because that's, what's, that's the problem really. It's not such that these artists are getting so overplayed. I mean, that's partially to blame, but it's just the sense that a lot of these artists who present a balance inside of this culture aren't really given that opportunity to be exposed. Ultimately, the summit was about giving back to the community and sharing experiences and thoughts with the youth of today. I've been given a lot of opportunities, you know, uh, when I mentioned on the panel being inside every facet of this music industry and I feel like it's really important for, for kids who didn't know because I was just, you know, when I first started, I was just some cat who didn't know anything about, you know, the business. I didn't know anything about copywriting, anything about, you know, getting your songs out, nothing like that. So I feel like, you know, I've been given so many opportunities, so many, so many uh, great, great chances to do so many things that it's, it's pretty much uh, important that I come here and pretty much share my experiences. So like hopefully some kid who's trying to do the same thing won't have to make all the mistakes that I made. 